may the force be with you and also with you it's true people's for people's collectibles and life is a circle and a box of chocolates and yada 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 we're doing march of the machine aftermath that blog booster box yet again this is actually the first box opening that i did on this channel about a year ago at this point it was sometime in may and actually the photo in the thumbnail that box there is the box that I bought for uh, that video. It was my first Aftermath box. And this was a set that I was excited about, even though everyone was uh, hating on it for, for reasons that were completely justified. And I knew that it was, uh, you know, obviously a small set with only 50 cards, even though there's, what, I think 250 unique numbers because of all the, the stupid fucking variants and everything. But, um,. You know, I had high hopes for this, and when I ended up picking up uh, that first box, which was like nearly, I think, 80 bucks after tax, I, I waited at least a, a few weeks to pick that up, and I forget what the MSRP was. I think it was like at least 90, maybe even like 100. Not entirely sure, but I waited a little bit. I picked up that box, and then I waited a few more weeks and picked up two more boxes for... I think it was only like five or ten bucks uh, less each. And since then, I haven't bought another uh, of these boxes. I bought some bundles that were like on sale for like 25 bucks a piece months and months and months ago. And then I got a, a single collector booster box like sometime like late last summer for, uh, I want to say like 120 before tax, which I've seen it now at like 100 for the longest time, the longest time. But you know, for, for 35 bucks real quick, I was like, you, you, you know what? Well, let's do Aftermath again. I still haven't gotten a Karn. That's what we're here for. We're here for the Karn. Because otherwise, I mean, it's not really... I think that's literally the, the only card that I actually uh, need from this, uh, at least for myself. And because it's not the Collector Booster Box, there's no uh, Halo foils. Which, I mean, that's really the thing about this, right? There's like five, six variants of every single card. But yet, you know, the Halo foil, that's the cream of the crop right there, right? So if you're not getting a Halo foil of uh, any specific card, then why does getting any special variant of that card in the first place even matter then? If the Halo foil is already, you know, the, the main thing people want. Or whatever. I don't know confusing doesn't really make no sense but hoping for a Karn hoping for a Karn uh, Nissa is not what she was a year ago that's for sure but still a a decent mythic for what it's worth what are these six card packs it's it's been too long all right we got a ley line immersion Markov Baron there we go and this is part of the reason why I was uh, so psyched for this set is that you know all the uncommons are at least playable in some capacity and stuff like Markov Baron? I was like, that's nuts. A three mana two two vampire lord with convoke and with madness. Like that's that's insane. All right, death rattle oni for the nobody gives a toot. No toots uh, were given on that day. Right, Tranquil Frillback, if only, uh, you know, got that when uh, the Dino Rage was all the rage, which uh, it has toned the F down. He'll still put them up there for now. Open the Way, that's actually a rare that's uh, done halfway decent for itself. That was another reason, I, you know, I was... Uh, so optimistic about this set is that there were just so many cards that were commander viable, you know? Like even one of the uncommons, Cosmic Rebirth, that was a big one that I was like, oh my gosh, this is a pretty solid card for, for what it is. You know, Sun Titan on a little instant stick real quick. Roko Street Chef. And I mean, the legendary creature designs on these are, are cool as well. 
but obviously the the issue with legendary creatures especially when you know they're kind of meant for uh being the commander right and you have a small set so you're kind of guaranteed to get multiples of certain rares if you're getting multiples of a legendary that you you know you mostly just want to be the commander anyway then it doesn't really make sense to to have multiples all right there's our first showcase foil and what i do remember from this product is that's like probably going to be our our only one for the entire booster box so we we got hosed and now i'm thinking that uh i probably purposely did not buy three of these for the spring sale because even at 35 bucks at the end of the day you know, I've already bought these boxes before. It's not like there's anything that I, I really need for myself. Like I said, the only actual card that I can think of, like Training Grounds, I mean, that's a great card, but I have, what, I think at least like six copies of this. So, you know, I'm not going to sell it for like a buck or two. That doesn't make any sense. But uh, yeah, so the only card I really need is like Karn. And. I think he's more than like 20 bucks so you know why spend 35 bucks in a box if i can just get the the karn outright that's the the only card that i truly need all right first mythic there the tyvar tyvar see that's what i'm talking about i mean you know i i don't want to say garbage mythic that's it's just kind of mean but you know no, no one's uh, asking for Tyvar for Christmas, you know what I'm saying? So he's a 4-mana, 5-4 Elf Warrior, Legendary Creature. Whenever one or more Elves you control attack, they gain Death Touch until one turn. Each creature you control has, whenever a mana ability of this creature resolves, put a number of 1-1 one -one counters on it, equal to the amount of mana this creature produces. This ability triggers only once each turn. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those. I mean, it's not bad necessarily, but... You know, it doesn't it doesn't spark joy. Spark joy it do not. Alright, brand is ruined. There is a cosmic rebirth. You know, I mean I still I still love that card. Still still a dope card. Still a dope card. Arnie, oh, what the? Oh, oh, car, oh, shit. There he is. I haven't even seen uh, this artwork for him, actually. So I was like, what is that back there? Okay, well, cool. We, we came, we saw, uh, we conquered. There he is, Karn, Legacy, Reforged. And he is going straight into, I don't even know why I'm putting him in a top loader right now, because he's going straight into my uh, my Urza deck, because I'm one of those people. That's right, I, I rebuilt my Urza deck. Actually, isn't it? I think, oh, yeah, here he is. Yeah, there, there he is. Everyone loves uh, playing against uh, an Urza deck, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway. Here we go. Karn, Legacy, Reforged. His power and toughness are each equal to the greatest mana value among artifacts you control. <clears throat> At the beginning of your upkeep, add a colorless for each artifact you control. This mana can't be spent to cast on artifact spells until in a turn you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Yeah, dope-ass card. Dope-ass card. All right, cool. Well, <clears throat> now I feel... Uh, Less bad about buying this product, even at uh, a bargain price, just because, you know, this product fucking sucks. Uh, you know, I'll say it straight up. It does. Deification. And, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm a little bit butthurt because... You know, <laughs> pretty much literally everyone was like, yeah, this is a, gar this is a garbage product. You know, every, everyone outside of like wizards and boys, obviously, but like, you know, actual like players and collectors 
we're looking at this and like this is this is dog shit and i say eh, no man i don't think it's that bad it's not that bad man yeah it was that bad it was in fact that bad and i you know <clears throat> sometimes i refuse to listen to other people you know i'm a, I'm a hard-headed son of a bitch it's rough it's rough Right, we got double rare pack, but who gives a flying hoot nanny when it's a double rare pack when you're already gonna get fifteen dang nab same copies of the same friggin' card. Alright. No no more bickering. Oh see the the universe responds to, to positivity. See what I'm saying? I'm like, let's get rid of the negativity, and here's Nissa. Only the second copy that I pulled. I got one in my first box, and then never pulled another one. And this was one that I refused to sell, even though the price was real nice when it first came out. I think it was the highest it got to, like 40 or something. But I don't know. It was perfect in a lands deck that I had, and I was like, you know, I'm going to get another box or two of this. If I get a second copy, you know, I'll obviously sell it. But while I have this first one, I'm putting it in my deck. I don't care. And now it's nowhere near what it was. But, you know, you never know. I, I've also had the opposite end of the uh, the spectrum of things happen. Where I get something. And then, so what was, uh, I'm not even get something necessarily. But selling an old card like Nykthos, for example. Uh, shrine to Nyx, right? The land that gives you mana equal to your devotion. What's that card now? Like 30, 40 bucks or whatever. And I sold it in like 2020 for like 10 bucks or something. Like the only copy I had, Swan Song 2, had like two or three copies of that. And I maybe sold them for like, I don't know, five bucks or something back then. All right, another mythic. Yeah, I can't <clears throat> can't remember exactly how much it was, but those were two uh, <clears throat> in particular that stick out to me as like, oh my god, how freaking stupid. Uh, what's it? Urborg. Ah, yeah, Tome of uh, Yagmoth. That's another one. The I think it was the M14 or the M15 version, and that was another card from my my collection that had been sitting around that I sold when I first started uh selling on eBay. I think I sold that for like 20 bucks or something, but I didn't make the same mistake. I pulled the uh what's it called? Uh I don't remember the name. Uh oh, the Dead Marshes. I do remember the name. From Lord of the Rings, the Dead Marshes, uh, Urborg, Boil Land is like the the box topper for the uh, Lord of the Rings set booster box that I got, and yeah, I ref I refuse to sell that one <clears throat> because of what happened to my Urborg previously. That I was like, man, uh, why did I even sell this? And part of the reason was I didn't have like any black decks, and I'm like, you know. I I'm playing like every single other color. You know, I'll get rid of some of the good black cards and it's okay. And then it was like, oh my gosh, why did why did I do that? That that's that's pretty stupid, man. Makes no sense. Alright. Herborg scavengers, leave me alone. What did I what did I just fucking say to you people? Seriously. Seriously. Like where are you? There you are. That's gonna be the only showcase foil I get, which obviously I can't complain. I got a showcase Karn, even though it's not foil. It's a Karn and it's, you know, retro frame. It's freaking sweet. Not gonna complain about that. But I'm only gonna get one of these. And Fuck this stupid card. And now I've, I've gotten a third copy.
scavengers. Vultures. Oh, okay, cool. Another mythic. Sarkhan. I'm not going to act too excited about that because I already have my showcase foil version in my uh, dragon deck I'm working on, and I have at least one or two of those in, in my binder right now. But I'm not going to complain about a mythic, man. Especially one of the the better ones in the set. Open the way, all right. Definitely one of the better rares. You know, I'm pretty sure I complain about this in my other aftermath videos. I've complained about this many box openings, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to complain about this again, real quick. Again, why? Why are you giving me an advertisement card? You, you, know, you know what I mean? Seriously, man, just 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 make it a token. Like, come on, a everyone knows what a read is. You're just pissing people off at this bullshit. You already, how many cards did you put in here? What? You already put five cards in this 24 pack booster box. And then you're not even going to give me a real fucking token. Are you serious right now? Come on, man. You already spent the card stock to put it there in the first place. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. Un unbelievable. And most of these tokens aren't even specifically from Aftermath. They're just the ones from um, March of the Machine. Are there any tokens specifically just for Aftermath? Not entirely sure. Maybe not. I don't think so. Yeah, I can't think of any card um, from Aftermath that makes a token that it is not found in March of the Machine. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is how it is. We got two packs left. Can we get something else? Cool. I don't even know what it could be. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. My, my thoughts and prayers are answered. I'm next list. Not as uh, high up on the totem pole as he had once been, which is literally pretty much what you can say for every single card in this set. But foil mythics are always uh, accepted here at People's Collectibles. If you have foil mythics that you no longer want in your home, I am more than willing to take them off your hands. I'm not going to pay you for them, but I will accept them in, into my home. Absolutely. Any foil mythic is accepted here. All right, last pack. What is it going to be? It's going to be. Oh, I haven't seen this Bazoot uh, and Drifter art actually. I mean, you know, it's cool the different artworks and everything, even now. I mean, the Vesuvian Drifter and the the Karn, I mean, those were literally arts that I had never seen. Well, I mean, you know, I might have seen them during spoilers or something at some point. But yeah, all right. We did it yet again. Good, good stuff. What, uh, what, what did we get the Mythic count up to? What was that six? There's three over there, and then the Sarkon, Smoot, and the Tyvar, so yeah, six in total. And I mean, Training Grounds, that's one of those. It was like, I think, what, 20 bucks from uh, Rise of the Eldrazi? It's uh, only printing before this, right? It's like 20 bucks a pop, and now it's like a few bucks. But Training Grounds is just such a, a solid card. Yep, that's a, that's a total of six right there. Yes, yes, it is. All right, well... Thanks for joining me yet again. Aftermath, what a what a shit product. It really was. But these cards are cool. It's just, you know, Wizards doesn't know how to, to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, goodbye.